All right, so in this chapter, we're going to be building uh, an application using Cake PHP, which is uh, an MVC framework, and it's very similar to CodeIgniter um, in terms of structure and um, design patterns, things like that. Uh, I think that it's uh, easier than CodeIgniter to use, uh, mostly because it's very convention-based, all right, so there's a lot of naming conventions. You name your models a certain way, your functions, your controllers, and uh, it kind of does a, a lot of work behind the scenes. And that makes Cake PHP um, really good for fast development. You can create de decent sized applications in a, in a very small amount of time. So if you go to cakephp.org, uh, there's a lot of good information. Documentation is. is um, pretty good. You can see all the APIs and um, helpers, classes, things like that. Um, and this is the application we're going to be building, Job Finds. It's basically uh, a job board. And this application, in my opinion, is probably the most production-like application in this series. Um, I know like we've built things like blogs, uh, but we wouldn't have a user registration because that would just make the chapter way too long. This, I've managed to cram pretty much everything in, including registration, access control. Uh, you can see if we click on add job, it's just gonna bring us to a login page because we have it so that um, you have to be registered in order to, to post a job. Um, the home page, we have a nice filter search bar here. Um, we can search by keywords, by state, and by category. Uh, and then we just have a list of jobs here on the home page uh, and jobs can be part-time, full-time or freelance. Of course you could add your own um, if you want. Uh, but you click on read more and it takes you to the main page, location, job description, things like that. And then we just have a simple mail to link um, to contact the, the employer. All right, um, browse jobs basically um, like the home page and we have the categories here that uh, we created in the, in the database and the search works pretty well. If we say WordPress you can see that only this listing comes up um, and you can search by state if you want or category. Obviously if we search for WordPress in construction that's not going to come back with anything. Alright so um, let's see register okay so you can create an account we have a role, a role uh, field, and they can register as a job seeker or an employer. Um, right now, we don't really have separate functionality for each, um, but obviously, if you wanted to scale this application, you could add that uh, pretty easily. And the last thing I want to kind of introduce is HTML Kickstart, which is a framework much like Bootstrap and Foundation, which we've used, uh, and that's what I created the template with. Um, if you go to 99lime.com slash elements uh, you can download it and you can see all the different snippets to for buttons, icons, lists, menus, things like that. Uh, it was actually my first time using it and uh, I really like it. It's actually much simpler than Bootstrap and I do like the way the templates come out. So before we get into Cake, we're going to create just our HTML template using Kickstart. All right, so I'm gonna create a new folder and I'm gonna call it JF underscore HTML. All right, so what we wanna do is go to the Kickstart site and download. Okay, so it's gonna give us a zip file. We're gonna open that up and let's just take not everything. Let's take the folders, um, the style sheet, and blank, and that's it. And we'll take the composer, which is like a manifest file. So let's um, paste these things into our folder, and let's see, blank. Let's um, open. Let's actually change blank to index. All right, and let's open up Composer. 
project.json and, and you can just put your project um, uh, actually we're just going to leave this as is I'm not going to change that um, so let's open up index HTML alright so it's basically a blank template it has all the head code and stuff like that um, so let's go ahead and change the title to job finds welcome and uh, kickstart CSS we want to keep that that's the main CSS file and then style.css that's good we'll use that as our custom CSS file we have uh, jQuery include in the kickstart JS file which we want to keep um, so that looks pretty good so I want to get rid of everything in the body and kind of start from scratch actually I want to keep the grid ID, the grid which is going to be used as a, kind of like a container um, I'm actually going to give it an ID of container alright so in here we want to start our header so we'll put in a header tag and in here I want to have half of it for the logo so if we take a look at it here for the logo and then the at the link over here alright and ev this might not be exact we probably will change some things when we actually are dealing with our application um, so we're gonna say div class and this works just like bootstrap and foundation um, the syntax is call underscore and then the number of columns and then you just want to add the class name column okay so that'll give us a six column div okay and then we want another one all right and in this first one we want our h1 tag Right, and that's gonna say job finds and I want to just add a span to the job part of it just to give it that different color different look all right so that's the logo okay now here we'll put um, it's gonna be a, a form with a button Okay, and we're going to say button class equals um, large green. And we want an icon next to it. So I class, I want the plus icon. Okay, so it's icon plus. And the text will say add job all right let's see what that looks like um, we just want to open the index okay all right so that's fine for now um, obviously we're going to do the CSS I'm probably going to do that after um, so next we want the navigation uh, if we go to the site to the kickstart website and look for menus okay so you can see the horizontal is pretty much the same one I have so we're just gonna grab that okay grab this and we're gonna paste that actually first we're gonna create a new row um, so after the header closing header let's say div class equals call 12 column because I want this to go across the whole page okay and then we'll paste the menu in all right Whoop. okay so there's our menu so we want to change the menu text all right, so for the first one, uh, we want this to be the home link. And for now, it'll just go to index HTML. All right, and then the next thing we want here is 
browse jobs and I want an icon um, actually for both of these so if we go to kickstart um, icons so I think there's a home one AFG yeah okay we have icon home and then for browse jobs let's do we'll just keep the one it has uh, actually it doesn't have one um, we'll use the desktop one here I guess so let's see home okay right after the list item uh, actually I want it in the link so right before the text we'll say I class equals icon dash home okay we want a space there as well uh, let's see browse jobs okay we'll do the desktop one and then let's see I'm gonna paste in uh, I'm gonna get rid of the rest of these and paste in the register and login alright and the register we're using the user icon login we're using the key icon so let's check that Okay, um, something obviously went wrong here. What do we got? I class icon home. Oh, we put a li ending tag. We're gonna change that. All right, so that looks good. Next, we're gonna have the search area, and I'm just gonna paste that in. So under under the uh, 12 column div here, I'm going to paste in a div. Um, it's also a 12 column and has the ID of search area. And then we have a form with the class of horizontal. Um, input text for keywords. We have a select for state. Uh, down here we have a select for a category and then we have a, a submit button alright so that's all we need for the search okay next we just need our listings um, so after this div I'm gonna paste this in and let's go through it real quick 12 column div has a heading and then we're having this UL with the ID of listings okay and then we have the list item we have a type which is going to be the the box with full time or part time and then a description with the title and description and then a read more link down here with the um, plus icon okay and these are going to go to just details HTML just for now alright so that's that let's check that out Okay, so obviously there's no CSS, so it's not going to look very good yet. All right, so after that, I think it's this div. Okay, we're going to do a clear fix just to clear all the floats. So div class equals clear fix, and then close it. And finally, we just want our footer. So footer. Um, no IDs or anything. And inside that we'll have a paragraph, copyright, and job finds. Okay. All right, so that's the HTML. Now let's just um, add in our style sheet or our styles. And let me just 
open that up. So CSS, actually, the Kickstart framework, uh, the style CSS is actually in the root. All right, so let's open that. I want to open it with Notepad++. Uh, so basically, we have a, a spot for overrides. So these will be like main things like headers and uh, tables, links, things like that to override. And then layout will be just our custom CSS. And you can see that there's quite a bit here already. Um, the nav bar is what allows us allows it to look like how it looks. Uh, we have a bit, uh, gray, nice texturized background. So there are styles here. We just need to add our own. So I'm actually going to stop the video here and continue in a, in a part two where we can actually customize our CSS.